Hey everyone, it's Justin Hillgrove, Imps and Monsters, and behind the camera is Marcus of Lasting Impression Art. And I just wanted to, I guess, tease out a new project I'm working on. Um, I just signed a contract with Little Bigfoot, which is the children's book division of Sasquatch Publishing. Sasquatch is a great Pacific Northwest publisher. Um, uh, where I'm, I'm up here in in Snohomish, so obviously part of the Pacific Northwest. Not that you anyone would actually know where Snohomish is, <laughs> but uh, but if you did, um, anyway, I I wanted to just share a little bit about the I guess that that process and kind of bring you along as I work on this book for the next the next year or so. Uh, working on children's books with a publisher is a lot slower. Uh, a longer process than it is if you're self-publishing. I'm personally used to doing things myself. Uh, I get really focused on a project, and I want to I want to just work on it till I'm done, and then and then uh, and then get it out there. And I've I've done that with all my comics, and I've worked on other uh, sketchbooks and books. And with a publisher, um, it's a little bit of a of a different story. So. Anyway, I, I got into contact with Sasquatch years and years ago and um, uh, have, a, have an acquaintance there who's an editor who's been trying to, trying to find the right project for me for a few years now. And he found one that, that he thought I'd be interested in and sent it over. And, and it, it, it did seem like something I would enjoy working on. So I basically, I, I got the manuscript and read it over and told them I was interested. At which point, and I'm assuming this is how it works with most publishers uh, for a children's book illustration, but they they basically they have a manuscript because I didn't write it myself. They they sent me the manuscript so I could look at it, um, and then once I did, I said okay, I'm going to go ahead and work on it. Uh, the first thing you do is you I, I did some uh, character drawings of the main characters, some of the side characters. I'm not going to go into any specifics yet because I'm I haven't had a full conversation with them about what I'm allowed to share and all that, but I still thought it'd be interesting to to give you a little bit of the the, the beginnings. So anyway, um, so I spent a couple of days working on character sketches, full color um, character sketches in the style that I would be doing the children's book, so that then the editor could take that and bring it. Uh, along with the manuscript to the acquisitions department. And they're the ones who look at it and then decide whether or not they really do want to go forward with it, uh, with the book and with, with you as an illustrator. Um, and from there, they, they gave me the feedback and they said they liked it and uh, they were excited about some of, uh, some of the character design. So, of course, that was very gratifying. But there's two ways it could go from there. One is they they can take it and run with it and and take you on to the next step, or they could go, oh, okay, you know, this is great. Here's a check for your time, basically, um, and and then they don't go ahead with it. So either way, at least with Sasquatch, they they give you like a little bit of a uh, they pay you a little bit for those initial sketches, and then move on to the contract phase which is where I'm at, at right now. I have my contract uh, with them. I don't, I don't know if I'm allowed to show it here. But, uh, I, and again, I'm not gonna go into any specifics for, for price or, or uh, how, how much money or, or royalties or anything, but basically how the contract works. And from, from what I've talked to with other illustrators, this is pretty typical. You are offered X amount of, of money, and that amount of money is a, uh, what do you call it, a forward, a, uh, they, they, they give you the money ahead of time, but it's actually against the royalties you'll eventually be receiving, um, and they give you half of that amount up front, and they give you the other half when you deliver the, the final artwork. Um, and then you're you're given a percentage. You start getting paid um, the percentage that's in your contract as soon as they've the sales have hit the amount that they've already paid you for. 
Um, so that's that's kind of how that works. And then it also in the contract, it does state um, you get X amount for the first printing, and then you get a little bit more in more for the additional printings of, of the book. And then, of course, you can uh, there's a clause in there that lets you buy books wholesale and and uh, yeah. So that's uh, that's where we're at right now. Now I'm just kind of waiting to get the the updated edited manuscript so that I can start working on uh, thumbnail sketches on uh, just like little little sketches of the page layouts that I can then send on to the publisher that they can approve or have me make changes and, and so on. Um, and the other thing that I thought was interesting that I didn't realize, just having worked on my own stuff, that I the step one for me now is I, I'll be I'll be working on these character or not character sketches, but um, I'll be working on these layouts, uh, kind of storyboarding the entire book. But the cover is is something that is figured out I think about nine months from now by the uh, by the publishers or editors um, and they'll work with me and and kind of design the cover which I, I thought was kind of interesting you know you read you'll read books and um, and you always kind of wonder about the cover I, I I like the Dresden files and every one of those covers Dresden's wearing a hat and he does not wear hats and I've always thought that was so weird but um, it must be the publisher just coming up with uh, like, here's what I want the cover to look like. Oh, and Dresden wears a hat. It's like, okay, whatever. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm excited to get to work on the book, um, even though it's not slated to actually be released until I think spring 2020, uh, which is a long ways off. Right now it's, uh, what month is it? April, April 2018. So there's a little bit of time that goes on between now and then. Uh, but it should be fun, and we'll we'll kind of bring you along for the ride. So, thanks, guys. All right, Bill. Hello. Uh, th thanks for thanks for talking to me. I guess. Oh, no problem. Uh, so why don't you? I, I haven't been doing this very long. This is only you're only the third person I've talked to. The vlog. So, yeah. Okay. So I'm not very good at interviewing. So that's fine. For... <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. No, just uh, why don't you tell everyone about yourself as an artist? Uh, what you're doing? Okay. Well, that's me, Bill. Um, what do I do? Yeah, like, what are you, what are you doing as, as an artist? Oh, good lord. Um, God, how do I describe it? Um, uh, just, just fun stuff. I mean, like, like, some, I, actually I was describing it to somebody, and it, it always ends up, if you can get, probably this one's probably a good example. Oh, should I hold it up, or are you going to swoop around? Everything I do kind of ends up gross or cute or both. And, I, I don't know, just kind of iterations on that, like, just whatever weird crap wants to fly out of my head at the time. Right. Like, I just humor that. Luckily, I have a job that I can do it. And um, then, so, what are you doing as your job? Oh, I'm at Big Fish. I'm a character guy at Big Fish. Character artist, uh, animator, stuff like that. You're really lucky. <laughs> okay. Well, and what do you? I guess what do you do in your job then? Um, I mean, you just told us, but like, yeah. What are what are some projects that you've been working on? I, I mostly social games, uh, social media type games. Um, um, there's, there's a couple I'm working on where I have, or I've just got a, like a giant roster of characters, and I get to do all of those and paint them all. And so, yeah, it's really fun. Um, I, what, I, what I do at work is more rigid, I guess, than this, because when you're when you're you know when you're at a game place, you have to do characters like they need them for the game and, and all that. But here, you just like do whatever you want to. You want to make Kiss fight Slee Stacks? Sure, great. Right. Make it like as gross or weird as you, you know, as you're in the mood for. Awesome. Which I've seen in your stuff, and so I know you. I know you get that. Yeah, I, I understand. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, what kind of stuff inspires you? Gets you excited about doing art? Oh, God. Um, monster movies. Yep. Um, other art. Low. I mean, this is the best possible place to be. Like everywhere you turn around, there's inspiration. Um, yeah. Other people. Other artists. Uh, just amazing cartoons. Great artists. I've got. I'm. I'm like. I'm always on. You know. Pinterest and the well, Pinterest, Instagram, like every everywhere you go, you can just like follow a hundred artists and see stuff you've never seen before. And, right. Yeah. Okay. And then um, I guess if someone wants to find out a little bit more about you, well, how do they do that? Um. Well, 
I'll give you my card. No, it's um, BillMcGuire.net, uh, spelled pretty much like that. And uh, yeah, most of my stuff's there. I'm on uh, Instagram, Bill.McGuire. So if you want to go there, okay, that'd be great. Um, All right, and then do you have other any than that? Ad- come here. Yeah, do you have any advice for uh, maybe young artists, people just starting out? Yeah. Uh, oh, you know, or anyone just getting into it again? Um, draw until your hand falls off. Um, just just practice, practice till you're sick of it. Take a break and then practice more. Like there was actually it was really cool. There was like an eight year old girl here yesterday yeah. in a lizard suit, and it was it turns out she was it was a character that she had made herself, and she was just walking around in the lizard suit costume, and it was I, I don't know I just thought that was really cool. Yeah. And so I was telling her pretty much the same thing. Like this is great. You're doing the right thing. Just keep drawing stuff and be you know be happy and excited about it and just get all psyched. every time you do a new thing get excited about it and get excited to get better. Um, I don't know. Did I answer the question? Yes, you did. <laughs> well, thank you. thanks for taking the time to, to talk to us, Bill. It was oh, good no to problem. See you again. You, I didn't know you had a website. I, I should find that out, too. Yeah, I, I totally do. I, um, it's impsandmonsters.com. Oh, I know so, that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've, I've been there, actually. Yeah. I didn't know you had a blog. Not physically, though, right? Uh, well, <laughs> as far as you know. All right. Well, hey, well, thanks, Bill. Appreciate it. Oh, yeah, it. no problem. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumb up and subscribe to our channel. If there's anything that you'd like to see Justin and I cover in a future video, please leave a comment in the section below. We'll see you next time.